Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Max Air Max Fan Mini Plus here on our 2022 Grand Design Imagine travel trailer. So, originally, our neighbor today had purchased two of the Max Air Deluxe fans that have the giant rain shield that kind of scoops back and covers up the vent itself, but once we got up on the roof and saw that there was some other stuff in the way, we just realized that it just wasn't going to fit. So to keep that rain shield and still have the ability to have our fan running anytime it's raining or if we're going down the highway, we had to switch over to the Mini Plus, which will simply have that same scoop, but just not nearly as big. So our vent is powered and it's going to come with just a fan function, a light function, or a fan and light function that you can easily use by turning our dial here. It also comes with a close and open portion for our vent. So with it closed, this is gonna act more like a ceiling fan, where with it open, this is gonna exhaust your stale or hot air out of the trailer. It also has a bug screen right here, which you can easily just kind of pop out of place. Just be careful, you don't wanna break the little tabs, but you can pop that out. And then it also has a bug screen up in the actual louvers up on top of the roof on our top portion of our vent. So as you can see, just like I said, it has a very low profile design. It has angled louvers on the back just to keep any rainwater, any snow, anything like that out of your trailer. The bug screen is also included inside of this as well. That's gonna allow you to keep bugs out of your trailer, which can be a real annoyance. This cover actually comes in both white or black just to match the aesthetics of your trailer. For ours today, we went with black just because we have all kinds of black accessories up on top of our grand design. As far as installation goes, the hardest part is most likely going to be removing the old sealant. You gotta be real careful that you don't rip up the membrane of your actual roof. So you gotta make sure that you take like a plastic trim panel tool, just kind of sit there and eat, slowly pick at it. Like I said, you don't want to rip up your membrane because that's how you're going to end up getting water inside of your trailer. Um, wiring wise, it was super easy for us today because we already had simple connectors there. But even if we didn't have it, all you would need is just two butt connectors to attach your power and your ground. Uh, overall, very, very simple. The only thing I would do beforehand when you're choosing your vents is make sure that your roof thickness is actually going to be compatible. With ours today, we just had to get some longer screws because we had a little bit thicker of a roof. So let me show you how we went ahead and installed this. So the first step of our installation is going to be putting some butyl tape onto the top portion of our vent. This is gonna be your cover that actually has the outside portion. We're going to go around the outer edge because if you look, you can see these little indents. That's where your screws are gonna be going through into the roof of your trailer. So we want to get that nice and snug up against our flange here. That way we don't have any water leakage. And we'll go ahead and do each side, making sure that we're fully covering where our screws are going to be poking through. I already have our original vent off. What you're going to do to remove it is first scrape off all your sealant. As you can see, there's still sealant all over the flange here. And then there's going to be screws going along the flange all the way around. As you're taking the sealant off, you want to be real careful that you're not going to rip up the membrane of your roof here. If you do, we do sell patch kits because you're going to want to patch that spot up. That way you don't have any leakage getting in and ruining the roof of your trailer or getting down to anything else. So let's go ahead and we'll start our installation of our Max Fan Mini Deluxe, which is actually going to fit here just because it doesn't have that big scoop sitting off of the back. We already went ahead and we got our butyl tape on. So we'll go ahead and remove our backing and then we're going to want to place it so that the vents are on the back side and we'll drop it into a, our opening. So you're going to have two hardware bags that come with your vent. There's going to be one that's going to have two butt connectors, this little plug that would allow wiring through and these screws right here that have a rounded head. These screws are going to be what we put in the flange of our vent cover. This is what's going to actually hold it down to the roof along with our butyl tape. So now we're going to go ahead and on each one of these indentations, we're going to be putting one of these screws in. So while you do want it down snug, you don't want to go too far. 
So since we're up here, I might as well just go ahead and start with our sealant too. We're gonna start this right on top of our screws. We're gonna run a nice fat bead right over those. And then we're just gonna keep layering it down until we get all the way to the membrane of our roof. Making sure that we're completely overlapping each strip going down. So normally the Max Air Mini Fan Plus is only meant for a ceiling that's about four and a half inches maximum. With ours today, we do have just a bit more space there. So we typically we wouldn't do this, but we're gonna go ahead and just use some longer screws. That's gonna allow us to actually get up into the top of our roof vent here while still allowing us to screw in our base, which is actually gonna have our fan. Now, typically we also don't have as many wires coming through because if you look at the little openings that we have on our edges here, that's where your wires are supposed to cut through. With how many we have, that's just not gonna be possible. So I'm gonna trim that out just a little bit with one of my tools. That way we can make sure we get our wires through without them pinching. So I just cut this out just a little bit deeper just so that we can get all of our cords through. Like I said, I don't want anything sitting there and pinching. I'm gonna go ahead and put my inner trim piece back up in here. Make sure I get it locked into the top because we wanna make sure our screws line up right. So while I was pushing this in, we kind of having some issues with spacing just because these tabs are hitting right where a stud is. So I'm gonna cut off just the two on the sides just so it sits flat because this has to actually meet up with this. Whereas if I had that in there with the tabs just kind of sticking out, I would have not been able to have our vent actually slide up into place correctly. So now we're having no issues with it sliding up into place correctly and also the tabs that we do still have are kind of sliding in between the boards that we have here so it's also helping hold it in place but as you can see like on each one of these corners we're going to need these to line up with the holes that we have on the top of our roof in here and then we're going to have that line up with our actual vent itself so it doesn't really matter which way you place it along here when you're mounting this just kind of whatever you feel looks best but we're going to go ahead and hook up our wires right now Luckily with our wiring today, we have a real easy connection point. All we have to do is slide our wires in and press down on these little tabs. And I already know that my yellow right here is my power. So I'm gonna go ahead, pop that in place, clip it down. Same thing with my white here, which is my ground. Now typically we would have to butt connector these together. As I'm putting this up in place, I'm gonna try and move my wires so that they're going through that little notch that I made. Keep them out of the way. And start sliding our vent up in place, which actually, I wanted it to go this way. And then I'm just gonna take one of my screws. And I'm gonna kind of get this started. Now I'm not gonna make that fully tight yet. That's just there to hold it in place. I'm gonna come over to the other side. Make sure that we're hitting on each of our corners. Which I'm dropping down a little bit here. I need to push that back up into place. Make sure we got it nice and solid on there. And we can go ahead and test out our fan. As you can hear, it's clicking on. You can also turn on our light and try our light with our fan. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the Max Air Max Fan Mini Plus here on our 2022 Grand Design Imagine travel trailer.